Hi, I'm Matthew, and now I'm going to demonstrate how to use NetCat as a port scanner. Uh, obviously, it's not as powerful as Animap, but still, it is possible. Uh, as you can see, I've got two consoles on my screen, and at zoom, as usual, to show some details when needed. Uh, I'm going to Animap my router first. Uh, to see what uh, are the port services running on it. As you can see, I got uh, three services. It's Telnet, it's uh, DNS, and a web server as well. So uh, with NetCat, it's not as sophisticated and won't provide you as fair amount of information as Nmap does, because Nmap is designed to scan. Uh, host, but still it's possible. Uh, so we run n netcat v for verbose for timeout w one second z for scanning victim well IP address and the range and I'm going to try fifty to eighty. It's all inclusive. It'll scan. 50 till 80 and 80 inclusive. So now I just simply press enter and it should start scanning. As you can see, uh, as you can see now, it found that uh, on one, one port 53 is open and it's a TCP domain. It managed to succeed, connect basically to it. So that means there's a port open, open there. So there's a service running, as we all know, it's a DNS on 53 by default. Uh, as you can see here, it's scanning, scanning, and when it went to port 80, it also connected and it's, it's success. So it means that there is also a service running here. Uh, well, it, I can also scan from 23, from 20 to 30. It can also use the R flag. It'll mean, it means that it'll basically scan random ports from 20 to 30. So I'm going to press sensor and show you the output. As you can see, it's random. It scans, scans for 27, 24, 26, 22. So it's not so obvious I'm scanning from uh, 20 till um, 30, like without the R. I'll do it again. As you can see, it comes 20, 22. Uh, 21, 22, 23. As you can see, it found port 23 open. So you can use tel uh, you can use sorry, you can use uh, NetCat as, as a very simple uh, port scanner. But still, uh, if you need to scan something proper or properly or do some operating system detection, I would highly recommend to use Nmap all times. Hope you like this quick demo. It's how to use NetCat as a port scanner. Simple one, obviously.